And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Texas Rangers. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Adolis Garcia. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just a little bit away from first pitch, and starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. That's in there, and the count is 0-2. And, and down on strikes, and that's the first out. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. There's a strike. Jacob DeGrom, obviously, with a very impressive resume. He's only the third player in history to win the Rookie of the Year and multiple Cy Young Awards. The other two guys to do that, Justin Verlander and Tom Seaver. On to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Tosses across the first, third out. Here is Marcus Simeon. The pitch. Good eye right there. One ball, no strike. That's in there. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. Line drive, base hit down the line. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Nathaniel Lowe, the next to hit, takes outside. That one misses. And the count is 2-0. and oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Right-hander kicks deals. Right side. Thompson has this one sized up. Brings it in. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. So now it's Corey Seager, second in the American League in hitting. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Bounce to the right. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. There for the out. Runner scores from third. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Went deep in the ball game last night. And first offering is fouled off.
right now one and one. Strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Luis Robert now. That's in there. DeGrom, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. The line and the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him. One gone here. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Trace Thompson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Homered last night, added another hit as well. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of the start. So I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Welcome back. And now Jonah Heim. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed oh. a bracelet was my wrist and my hand. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Ripped, and this one could be extra bases, and that's going to roll to the wall. Heim around third. The relay, and he's in there as a run scores. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A triple into the opposite field gap. That gets me going right there. Just a perfect swing, man. Like he was still taking BP or something, and then instantly transitions into a base runner. Great hustle to get all the way around to third. Here's Josh Young. And first offering is fouled off. Durant at third with nobody out. The 0 2. And now one and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. In the air, out towards left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. Two down. Two outs, space is empty. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. First oh. offering misses the mark. One and oh. Two 
Swings through that. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. And a pitch. In the dirt, Grandal down to first with it. That completes the strikeout inning over. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is fouled back. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here is Yohan Moncada. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Moncada in his seventh season in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was born in Cuba. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Number 26 steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there for strike one. Got him swinging. Nothing doing for the White Sox. Still down. As we go to the last of the third. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter. Marcus Simeon. That one, one not close. Okay. And that's ball one. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Pop up here, third base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Swing and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Seeger stands in now. That one's in there 0-1. Seeger playing up the middle at short, a member of the 1,000-hit club, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Ground ball could be two. They get one, and it's a double play to end the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now, Elvis Andrews. There's the strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. In there. And so now one and two. Ground ball left side. Tosses to first and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Number eight batting with one down takes a strike. One strike. The White Sox yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And he deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now foul ball. Eloy Jimenez now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike.
swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. That one hit to right. Garcia settles under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One, two. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. And the pitch. That one missing inside. And there's the strike. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Going to count one and two. Well, that's one today's ball. style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. And now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Kicks and fires. Next offering misses down and away. Gets a piece and stays alive. In the air, left side. Jimenez has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. One down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Heim in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Just missed. Two and one. And that one is lifted in the air. Jimenez puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Ezekiel Duran. Smash to the left side. Zips it across, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now it's Luis Robert. Ground ball right side, and that hits off the base. That's an infield single as the pitcher just holds on to it. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Now, Trace Thompson. Next pitch misses. One and one. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And a swing and a miss there. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And next to hit for the Sox, Gavin Robert on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Next one misses, and a count one and two. Robert, the runner at second with one away. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So a man left for the White Sox. They trail it here. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Josh Young. And here it comes. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Righty to the plate. That one missed. Two balls, one straight. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Evan Carter, the next to hit. 0 for 1 so far. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swings over the top of that one. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Left field, Jimenez on the move. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Two outs, space is empty. At the play, Josh Smith. They say it went. In the air, right side. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they lead it three nothing. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. Next one misses, and a count one and two. It's a good take. Out to short. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. No play. That's an infield single. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Got him looking. That's a strikeout simply said this guy's flailing at the plate right now just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body that's his fifth strike out of the series and we're just over to Seeger. double play they can't seem to break and welcome back well we go bottom six here's the second baseman marcus simeon and that one is inside activity in the pen for the white Sox. tukey tucson appears to be getting loose Lambert warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. That one down the line. Oh, and it hits the base. Fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Everything came together for him. Solid double down. Now on the bump, Tuki Tucson. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. In the dirt. Simeon up to third on the wild pitch. Simeon, the lone runner, stands at third with nobody out. Come on, go yard here. And now it's even up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Runner in from third to extend their lead. And it's 4 nothing To second, but way too late. Safe there. Picks himself up in RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now it's Corey Seager. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. 
Swing and a miss. Oh, one one. Well, these Rangers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Left-hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. One away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Makes the catch for the second out. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Yeah, Even though you know the that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And yeah, the batter now, Jonah Heim. One for two. On the ground to the left. Slings to first, and that is the inning. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh, and the batter now, number eight. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. To the right side. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, and very nicely done for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Jimenez stands in now and watches strike one. And he grounds one to the right side. Boots it. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. And first offering is fouled off. And that's in for a strike. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath and relax. Swing and a miss struck him out. And that's his 200. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH. Ezekiel Duran. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Oh. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. up the middle and a base hit. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. And first offering is fouled off. Durant on at first, nobody out. Right-handed reliever. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Man at first. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Two outs. Popped up first base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Trace Thompson. That's in for a strike. 
DeGrom still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the DH, Gavin Sheets. And first offering is fouled off. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. And the right-hander deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And down on strikes he goes, and the inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Go, now go. it's Marcus Leading Simeon. Leaders. The second baseman. Marcus Simeon. Toussaint back to work. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And gone! Marcus Simeon goes deep, and they boost their lead. It's 5-zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. You see how he stays square to the plate. He takes a breaking ball that's away, gets around it, gets it up in the air, and hits a long home run. Not exactly the way that you teach it in the cage, but you'll take the result. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that one wrapped foul. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The wind of the pitch. In the air, center field. Robert on the move. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. One straight. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball to strike. And that one lifted in the air center field. And it's caught for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. That one ripped left field way back there. And that ball is out of here. He sends a rocket to left. His 34th of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it.
Gregory Santos gets handed the rock out of the pen. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And it's fouled away. The 1 1. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. The 2 2. Got it by him for the K. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last chance coming up here for the White Sox. And welcome back. And now Yohan Moncada. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. On the ground and foul ball. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Andrews stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. This one popped up. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take this one in a blowout. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. Sixth inning is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.